Welcome to the August 13th, middle of August. Nobody's here, indie contributors call. Well, there's three of us here and the important people are here. The right people have shown up. A um, couple of things to talk about the indie um, project charter and then we'll have some updates. Um, we are recording this session and this is a Linux Foundation, Hyperledger Foundation meeting. So, oops. We want to do that. So the antitrust policy needs to be followed. That, as does the Hyperledger Code of Conduct. Um, I will reload this page and change to edit mode so that I can make updates as we go. Sure, I'm organized. OK. Um, meeting topics um, for the day. The Indy Charter has got to get um, done and finalized and there's only three of us here but three of us are i believe all on the uh charter list so that's not so bad now there's four of us here so we can um discuss that so um indy has a requirement for a charter we talked about this last week and went over it a little i've um made some more changes as i worked through the aries one and i wanted to follow up and do the same thing um there so um, recall from that discussion that in the charter, um, which I'll open up, we are um, basically what is happening is with um, LFDT being created, the Hyperledger projects are sort of separating out into their own project. Um, and as a result, instead of simply inheriting the Hyperledger charter, and um, much of the administration, the the projects do the do that at at the project level. So Hyperledger need Hyperledger Indy needs a charter, uh, a legal document, <clears throat> and then needs to um, have a technical steering committee that is responsible for the technical oversight. So what I am proposing. <clears throat> is to um, uh, do the following things in in the in the area of the charter and the TSC. So, um, create a new repository called Indy, which I actually created this morning, which is similar to this Aries repository, and all it does is have information about the project, and then has a few standard files. Um, a security file, a license file, and then I'm proposing adding two more files, a TSC file and a maintainer's file. The TSC file, so so the idea is to do this exact same thing in Indy. The, the TSC file contains um, the list of TSC members independent of whatever GitHub permissions they have. This is simply a list of the members of the TSC, the duties of those members, and then the processes for becoming and removing TSC members. So these would be the air, uh, the Indy, in, in our case, technical steering committee. Um, it will be populated by the Indy admin GitHub team that currently exists. And we tweaked that team last week or two weeks ago to um, um, to nail down who those people will be. So um, that's what would go into the TSC file. In this same repository, we would have a maintainers file. Maintainers are a list of individuals that have escalated GitHub privileges within the Indie project. Since it is about the escalated privileges, that's actually managed in this access control YAML file that exists in the Hyperledger governance. So instead of actually listing the maintainers here, we simply will point to that file. And then we also have the duties, how to become a maintainer and how to remove maintainers. And becoming or removing is simply a matter of PRs to this file that get approved by appropriate parties um, and by consensus in the community with any disputes going to the TSC. 
Um, so we have an Indie repository. We have a TSC file within that. We have a maintainer's file in that that points to the access control and has the duties and so on. Um, finally, we have a maintainers.md file <clears throat> in each repository. So this is, for example, the one in the Aries Mediator repository. And it will look like um, it will remove having the active maintainers and, and so on and simply um, point to the processes in the other maintainers file that I showed you earlier. So we won't repeat the processes for adding, removing, and what the duties are. We just point to that. And then we point to the access control YAML um, to say that's where the maintainers are defined and do a PR for it. So um, it, it really cuts down on how big the maintainers file is. Wish I could, there we go. This is what it will look like after it gets merged. We simply have, here's the process for adding, and here's the, here's the place where you can see who the actual maintainers for this repository exist. I'm hoping that at some point, somebody will write a script that extracts out um, the list of individuals per repository across all of Hyperledger, and we can point to that actual file, and it's produced by a GitHub action. But for now, um, we'll just do it this way that we point to the, the raw YAML file. So, <clears throat> and then finally, the last set of things that I'm proposing we do is we update the charter to say simply that there is a TSC. The TSC members are listed in this file along, along with this um, along with the processes for the duties and the processes for adding and removing them. Um, a little bit about the meetings and then contributors and maintainers and then guidance on where to find information about um, who are the maintainers. And, and that points as well to this maintainers file in this common repo. This is Aries, but it will be the same for Indy. And that's that's about it. So that covers the whole gamut. The, the legal that describes how to use those combination of files, the TSC file, the common maintainer file, and then the per repository maintainers file, how to use the um, access control list and everything's kind of works together. Hopefully that was clear enough. Um, <clears throat> any objections to that being moved forward as the way these will, this will start out? Uh, Kim? Um, I think these are, uh, uh, this is uh, good work on your part. Um, I did want to say that I really like the idea of having the Aries repo and the India repo. Um, yeah. I would like to see in the Aries repo and the India repo a list of all of the GitHub projects that are associated with yeah. um with that particular group. Yeah. Um, a short description about which each of them are for and do. Because yeah. I think it would be a great way to bring people in and have them go, oh, these these are all the components inside of this org uh this ecosystem. And this is uh, what they're for. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Any other comments? So I I had this indie repo created today, so I plan <clears throat> plan to populate it. I had an non creds done one created as well. Um plan to populate those um, and update the charter. So execute on all of these things. So it's not just the Aries version, but we actually have indie versions of these things and uh, and update the charter document, um, this document I showed earlier, to, to reflect that. 
and then hopefully that satisfies um, what is required from from what is what will be the LFDT, the uh, LF decentralized trust organization, the staff. Cool. And as I say, we selected who was the TSC last week based on editing the um, indie admin list and Shar put in the, the PR to, to set that membership. And so that's been completed. That's who I will use to in populating the TSC.md file. All right. That's the administration. Um, Ubuntu 2204 upgrade. Any notes, Kim, from that? Um, I haven't heard anything about the pull request being reviewed yet. So really? just a oh. little pattern. That's not good. Okay, I will um, push on that. I'm not sure Wade, why Wade at least wouldn't have looked at it. Um, so um, yeah, let's get that reviewed. And my apologies for that. Um, Renata, right, that happens. Renata, any updates on Indie Bezu? Actually, yes. Uh, so speaking about uh, Q three report, I'm sorry for delay, yeah. but I. Um, uh, posted a small comment about revocations Good. because yeah. right now I want to say that absolutely <laughs> revocation feature is in progress. Uh, it is still a big question about uh, specification and design, but I want to say uh, a big thank to CPQD uh, mm -hmm. Brazil company that implemented yeah. uh, fantastic code, really fantastic. We just need to define uh, some specification moment and some form formalize um, this uh, API and design. But in general, I want to say that uh, I see this feature and tests. It looks like everything good is good. Good. Is it uh, is it the same um, revocation scheme? Uh, no, it is something like a revocation list. Unfortunately, for now. Okay. Okay. But anyway, yeah. uh, it is better than no nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it is in progress, and we can add uh, this to uh, your report. Yeah, uh, I will do that right because after this. Yeah. I already saw a comment uh, about with the question about amount of contributors for indie. Uh, yeah. It was an embarrassing question. <laughs> it is better to put maybe something else uh, to the report. Okay. Uh, so, and also a uh, small announcement. So, anyway, I will post a link to uh, this item um, to this page after this call. And so speaking about um, Meetup from Hyperledger. So, we are preparing Hyperledger Meetup from DSR and not only, I hope, uh, at the end of September. Uh, the main topic... Uh, is tell about Hyperledger Indie, maybe Indie on Bezu, maybe Indie Bezu, depends on our communication right now. Uh, and so I don't think that it will be interesting if just me or someone from DSR will tell about uh, Indie Bezu, because uh, I hope it is a good uh, chance uh, to make our community wider, uh, Indie and also Bezu. So if someone uh, is interested in taking part like a speaker, we will be happy. It is online meetup. So if you want to tell about your experience with indie or something else like this, um, I will be absolutely happy. And I want to say that uh, it's a good point uh, as a marketing uh, possibility, opportunity. So... I will be happy to see your messages about this and yeah. having big amount of people on this meetup. Good. Mm -hmm. That's it from my side. Thank you. All right. Sounds good. Um, Sam, I don't know if you have any updates on the Indie Mentorship Project, the Reader Replicas. Um, not significant, no. 
Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard anything back from Brian. Okay. I, so in, in his defense of trying to schedule a meeting, I was sick the first half of that week, more than uh, uh, Monday through Wednesday. And so I was not able to make any calls or, or, or communicate with him then, which likely fouled his efforts. So um, it's not, in, it's, it's not, uh, it's not him. <laughs> yeah. You're feeling better? Yeah, yeah. I was back Thursday, Friday mm -hmm. last week. Mostly back Thursday, Excellent. fully back Friday, but I just Excellent. Yeah. I did some traveling uh for, for some family reasons and when I got back there was like a two day delay and then I just I was out. So I caught oh. something in the meantime. Uh, uh I've heard lots of COVID stories lately. Or enough anyway, not not like it was, but still lots of people getting hit with that. Um all right. Well, that's all I had. Any other topics to raise for today's meeting or should we call it at this point? All right. I will hunt down the um recording from last uh meeting and we'll do two follow-ups or um do the follow-ups on the charter over the next short while. All right. Thanks all. Thanks, Stephen. Have a great day. See ya. Thank you. Have a good day.